Hey guys, got the dogs here. And uh, I wanted to go over my, my challenges I've faced with uh, going with four subs. And I posted a, a couple of graphs on the Facebook page. And one was an ugly graph and one was a better looking graph. And the ugly graph was with four subs. And the configuration I had was, I've got the PC2000s back here on the sides and I've got the PB2000s here, okay? What I had was these back over here uh, on either side of my chair. And so they were near field. And, and so then I had the, the PC2000s where the PB2000s are. Okay, and for those of you that don't know, they're pretty much the same subwoofer, just different orientation. One's down firing, one's forward facing. And anyway, and the way I decided to do this, because of the way my room's set up, I wanted to go wireless and I did go wireless and I had some challenges with that. Um, mainly a whole bunch of delay, but I also had some other issues that I'll go into with another video. But what happened was I, the, I don't know, the sensation of having bass around me like that was cool, but there was something missing and I, I didn't put the mic on it yet. And, but I knew that something was definitely missing. And so I measured it and that's when I got that ugly graph and that was in my, my main listening position. Now I've actually failed you guys here because I cannot tell you why I got that ugly graph. I thought it was because it was near field and turns out it had nothing to do with it. You'll see the microphone over here. Um, I measured this situation with the microphone there on top of the center, over on top of the PC 2000, even on the heater over here. And could not get it to replicate. Uh, the only time I was able to get it to replicate was when I loaded the previous settings uh, because I hadn't run room correction yet. And I loaded the previous room correction with the adjustment setting the subwoofer, uh, the subwoofers that I had near field to 36 feet. And then I was able to get sort of a similar graph, but it wasn't nearly as ugly as the one I put up on Facebook. And so anyway, I, really tried to get the, the same response and that same, you know, real dippy response that I got, but I wasn't able to get it again. And so that leads me to believe that it probably has to do with the wireless setup and it could be a faulty wireless uh, receiver or transmitter. Who knows? But it, interestingly, it was the sub that was closest to me that caused a lot of that dippiness. When I, uh, had the uh, PB2000 right next to me turned off and the one that was a little bit further away turned on, I didn't qu get quite as bad of a graph. It looked a lot better. So it may have been just that wireless re receiver. So who knows? I'm not entirely sure. Angel's already bored, so she's leaving. <laughs> but um, anyway, I tried to replicate that. I couldn't get it replicated. It was weird. Uh, I don't know. What I do know is that if you're going with four subs, um, it's really best to use wired uh, connections rather than the wireless connection. Uh, I thought it would be easy. I didn't take into account the wireless delay I would get, uh, but you're going to get that wireless delay in any subwoofer or any wireless setup uh, just because the signal has to be processed and sent and all this stuff. So you're going to get some delay. It's just a matter of how much. Um, and so in this configuration, by the way, I did that video with the daisy chaining. And so this sub is daisy chained to that sub and that sub is daisy chained to that sub. Works out great. I've got no problems with it. So, um, you know, I, it was one of those things. I, I had these subs stacked up in the middle of the room. I did that video and a couple others that I'll be putting up. Uh, but anyway, I want to show this configuration and uh, be able to say that four subs in the room, I got great response. In fact, I tried in my process of trying to induce that ugly graph again, uh, I tried setting it up in places where I knew I'd get bad response. And with the four subs, I got better response than with the two. Now, dramatic, nah, I wouldn't say dramatic, but it was definitely, I, I was able to notice a difference. Uh, so, and in this situation, you know, I just have to run the, the subwoofer trim down a little bit lower, uh, run the gain a little bit lower, but it's a good sound. I mean, I don't know if I would necessarily 
set out to do this. Uh, I get plenty of, of dynamics and plenty of even response out of just the two subs. Uh, but if you're in a situation where you just want more, go for it. You know, it's, it's not something I would necessarily avoid, but not necessarily something I would set out for. Uh, but I wanted to, to talk about my, my struggles with this because if it wasn't for being able to measure the room, I may not have known exactly what was going on or at least be able to identify where the problem was. I wasn't able to identify what the problem was, but I was able to identify where it was, fix it, and everything's better. Um, but so to, to summarize, near field was not the problem that I thought it was. And, um, you know, again, I'm not giving up on the four sub arrangement, but I am uh, sending the uh, PC 2000s back. Uh, but I, you know, I just wanted to, to show this setup because, I don't know, it's kind of an interesting setup. It's definitely too crowded. As you can see, I've got my, my heater there kind of in a precarious situation. So this isn't a long-term uh, viable situation. But anyway, you can kind of get an idea of, of what it looks like. Uh, but definitely not very high on the wife acceptance factor running it like this. Uh, definitely looks a lot cleaner with just two subs. But, you know, some people want to run it like this and, and you know, just thought I'd show it. But uh, anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. I appreciate you uh, watching. And uh, apparently YouTube's doing this new thing where you can subscribe, but you won't necessarily see your subscriptions unless you click the little alert button next to the subscription tab. I don't know. It's really weird. I've been seeing a lot about that. So uh, if you guys are wanting to make sure you see every video, you may want to click that little alarm button there uh, next to the subscribe button. And it's, it's kind of a weird thing, but uh, I know that uh, some, you know, some of my viewers didn't get to see uh, the uh, subwoofer giveaway and that may have, you know, that stinks. So make sure you click on that, uh, that little alarm thing because that's going to make a difference. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe.